Hello everyone, in this video, we will be discussing what a veteran C file is, its importance, and how to request it. For those of you who don't know or have heard about it but do not have a clear idea of what a C file is, well, the C file or claims file is a collection of documents and records related to a veteran's claim for benefits from the United States Department of Veterans Affairs. Thanks to technology, this collection of documents can be transferred from paper to an electronic format. So, when you request your C file, you will receive them on a CD. So, what specifically goes into a C file? Well, you can find various documents, but generally, you will find veterans service treatment records, military records, VA medical records, VA decision letters, disability benefits questionnaires or DBQs, private medical records, documents submitted by the veteran or their representative, and any other documents to which VA has had access in working on the veteran's claims. Now, why a C file is so important? The answer is simple, it is because it contains evidence that can support a veteran's claim for compensation. Without it, it becomes difficult to prove the existence or how the service contributed to the veteran's injuries or illnesses. The C file also helps every VA employee involved in the case to get the information needed to do their part of the claim process. It helps the VA contractor examiners to evaluate the evidence of records to provide an opinion on your claimed disabilities. It is an important tool for the healthcare professional who prepares a nexus letter to evaluate the evidence and establish the link between the current diagnosis and military service. Finally, the C file helps the veteran to identify information that the VA could have overlooked. Now that we understand the importance of a C file, let's discuss how to request it. First, you need to download the VA Form 20-10-06, which can be found at the address that you see on the screen. You can also go to any of the VA regional offices and request the form. When filling out the form, be sure to include all relevant information such as the veteran's full name, branch of service, and dates of service, and pay attention to Section 3, where you will select the option of Claims File. Once you have completed the form, you have several options to send it to the VA. You can email it, fax it, send it by mail, or drop it off at any of the regional offices. The specific information is shown on the screen. This is all for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to be the first to know about new videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time.